Welcome down the rabbit hole, friends. I have to let you know, I'm really torn about how to bring this story to my channel because I have to be honest with you. I'm really grateful to Natalia's new family, the Mann family, that they at least took her in when they saw her kind of like hobbling around by herself, you know, outside of her apartment, like trying to figure out what to do with her life. I'm grateful that she had someone who took her in and tried to make her somewhat a part of a family. And of course, we all want a positive ending for this girl who was likely severely abused in an orphanage in Ukraine, or at least neglected, who has experienced continued loss over and over again, who's been abused and mistreated by many people around her, no matter what Natalia has done and what she is still doing. She deserves some kindness, understanding, and forgiveness, you know, when she participates in behaviors that are negative because they come from somewhere. They come from a really wrecked childhood, right? This is someone who should be getting a lot of the medical care that she needs and the emotional support that she needs. And we don't want to see yet another person taking advantage of her, right? I thought the man's possibly as weird and <laughs> kooky as they were, you know, could be the right family for her. They could be great because, you know, family doesn't have to be perfect, right? And who's to say what perfect is? So even though a lot of people talked about, oh, seems a little culty, seems a little weird, it could be just right for her. And yet, as I deep dive further and further down this rabbit hole, learning more about the Mann family, I am really taken aback and it has left me with so many more questions. <sighs> My next video is going to be all about Antoine Mann and the alleged church scandal, which is now, right as we speak, being exposed in the area where he and his family live. Um, I'll be talking about that in the next video. But in this video, we're gonna go backwards and talk about the time that the Mann family got caught stealing mouse traps from a Payless shoe store. What the f <laughs> Why? How? When? So many questions. <laughs> I do not understand what's going on here. It does not compute. So if you have the same questions, so if you're thinking WTF, stick around and let's get into it. Okay, so it was just yesterday that In Touch released an article entitled Natalia Grace Mann's estranged adoptive father Antoine Manns was arrested for conversion in Indiana. Okay, conversion, let me explain this to you because I had to look it up and figure it all figure it all out. It's kind of like when you commit a robbery, but then you somehow convince the people that you were going to bring it back. <laughs> Whatever you stole, yeah, you were going to steal it for a period of time, but you were going to bring it back. And it's kind of like a lesser charge. Some people can plead down to it for whatever reason, or they might have a reason why they're stating, like, we were just going to borrow those mousetraps for a while. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> chill out. Let's not call this robbery. Let's call it conversion, okay? All right, so um, Antoine Manns was arrested for conversion in Indiana. All right, so here we go. Antoine, who became Natalia's guardian in 2013, along with his wife, Cynthia Manns, was arrested in 2013 for knowingly or intentionally exerting unauthorized control over mouse traps, which were taken from a pay less <laughs> shoe store in Indiana um, on November on or around November 30th, 2013. Okay? And according to the court documents, which In Touch has gotten a hold of. And In Touch also lets us know conversion, a separate offense from theft, applies to situations where the charged person had the intention of returning the stolen property. So he was going to take these mousetraps and eventually return them. <laughs> I do not get it. Why? How? Where? It still doesn't make any sense. Okay. So Antoine Manns, a pastor, pleaded no contest and completed a diversion program, which included paying $325 within 60 days of filing the agreement. He also had to maintain good and lawful behavior. He had to avoid 
consumption of alcohol and controlled substances. Maybe he was really drunk when he stole, <laughs> really drunk or really high when he stole these mousetraps. I mean, that would make a lot more sense to me. He has to avoid consumption of alcohol and controlled substances, and he has to submit and pay for random alcohol and drug screenings. So that does kind of lend to my thoughts that perhaps he was a bit under the influence when he entered this Payless shoe store, did not find any shoes of his liking, and instead went for the mouse traps in the back. Were they in the back? I mean, you can't really put those out when there could be children walking around looking at shoes. Were they in the back of the store and that's where he got them? Or potentially even in the restroom, he stole a mouse trap from there. I was talking to a friend and I was like, I wonder if there was just like some really good cheese on the trap. He went for it. The trap, the trap snapped. <laughs> he wasn't able to remove it while he was in the store. So he had to leave with it. Henceforth, he always planned to bring it back after it was removed, you know, from his hand and he ate the cheese. That's kind of something. That's one possible explanation for what's going on here. Okay, so Antoine was also required to appear in court on June 1st, 2015, and he had to show the proof that he completed all of these terms and he had paid all the necessary fees um, in order to make sure that this was all taken care of. And then Antoine's file was closed um, upon completion of all of the agreed tasks. All right, so Antoine did complete the program, <laughs> I guess, through the help of Christ above, he was able to stay um, substance free and meet all of the requirements in order to have um, this case closed. But it's really kind of rocking my world because out of nowhere, Antoine and Cynthia, they meet Natalia in 2013 and they randomly take her in. They say, you know, they really loved her and felt some kind of a kinship to her. And we've seen in the Investigation Discovery docuseries that the man's family, they legally adopt Natalia. Um, and she proved with a DNA test on that show that she was 22 years of age last year in 2023. However, that seemingly happy ending seemed to take a turn when producers revealed that they received a shocking phone call from Antoine and Cynthia just two weeks before the doc's finale on January 3rd. Something ain't right with Natalia. This girl is tweaking, Antoine said in the call. I feel like she's the enemy in the house, and she said to us, we have held her hostage, made us look like we're the enemy. <laughs> hmm, interesting. Right, so in my last video, I showed you guys that the Mans had actually created a fairly popular TikTok account about the entire family, but it strongly featured Natalia. And on that TikTok account, they were requesting money for a GoFundMe. They wanted to raise about $20,000, right? And they were very close. Um, last time I checked, it was at 19800 something. So they're almost there. If you read through the information on the GoFundMe's website, it says that the mans want to use this 20K for a trip to Jerusalem and a new car for Natalia. Why a trip to Jerusalem? Well, because of course, Antoine wants to spread his preaching throughout the world. You know, she, he doesn't want to just be limited to a Payless shoe store and, you know, the United States. He's got to go international here. So directly on the GoFundMe site, Cynthia Manns wrote, Hello, everybody. My family and I have been all over the news. Dr. Phil, YouTubers have done a plethora of videos on our family as well. But last but not least, the documentary. We are so grateful for everyone's love and support all around the world. So originally, the goal for this GoFundMe was just $10,000. That's interesting that they would be able to afford um, a van and a trip to Jerusalem with that. That seems kind of low. But after they hit the $10,000 mark, um, they decided to up it um, and increase their goal to $20,000. And they are almost there. We believe with the help of God and also with loving, caring, and supportive family like you, we will reach beyond the sky, Cynthia wrote. And money poured in to this GoFundMe around the end of December 2023. You know, they almost reached the $20,000 mark. 
But something must have happened within the family, right? Because we hear Antoine making this weird phone call to the producers. And now we've seen in my last video, Natalia Grace all over social media saying that she wants to live independently. And she started a new GoFundMe for another $20, which she says that she needs so that she can have $500,000 worth of surgery. Like it'll be a down payment. None of this is adding up in any way, shape, or form. So where's the 20000 that the Mann family got? Did they keep it? Did they steal it from Natalia like they stole those mouse traps? Or does Natalia have the 20000 and now needs an extra 20000 If she's trying to get to 500000 how will $40,000 even really help? <laughs> I don't know. I think there's a lot of scamming going on here. Scammer's going to scam, right? Um, on some level. On another level, when I look at someone like Natalia Grace, I'm like, <laughs> give that girl some money. Like, she has been through really hard and rough times. She has been abused, misused, and mistreated. And I have no problem with donating money to a GoFundMe for her. And even if I found out that the man's family took it, but now she's getting more money, honestly, that would all be fine with me. I wouldn't ask for a refund. You know, I give what I can and let it go, right? But it is interesting because all of us are wondering what's going to happen in the third installment of this docuseries. <laughs> well, I can tell you one thing is happening right now with the Manns family, and it has to do with Antoine being called out for some shady behaviors in his church. All right, join me next time as I take you down the rabbit hole and we review what's going on with Antoine.